right now, what I'm doing is taking these spark plug cord packs out so I can get to this empty. That way, I don't have to take all, all of them off just to get some. So I'm going to break this off. Pretty much it. Really a 10 minute job. Other than pulling that damn hose off. That's the longest part. Other than that, you should be good. Alright, so I'm back on my car, right? Taking my car apart. Um, got the valve cover off. As you can see, intake, coal, packs. In order to take the valve cover off, you got these 8mm bolts right here. Uh, I usually use deep well and uh, this angle swivel hair ratchet and wrench. Because these down here, you can't really get to those, you know, with an extension and swivels and all that type of crazy stuff. Uh, it's, it's a lot to go through just to get to them. These here, these are tents. That's for the head though. But for right now, it's just the core packs and the uh, valve cover bolts. Alright, so here's a tip, right? See that back bolt back there? right there. Well, the way to get to that is to go through here. You gotta take this off. It's already all because I've done this so many times. Take it off. Stick an extension. Uh, I think this is a 12. Uh, I usually use a 12 and another one. A 12 and a 6 to get down there with an 8 deep well. And you can reach right back there. Get down there straight on the boat. Come right between these wires here wires here, come between there, get that bolt, pop the valve cover off. Another tip is, um, if you haven't disconnected the battery, what I usually do is, I take a rag and cover this ground, that's right here, as y'all saw earlier, it's a ground and some exposed wires, so I take a rag, I cover that, so that way the metal doesn't contact it, the electricity sparks off, you know, I haven't disconnected the battery because, well, the battery's damn near dead. Alright, in order to take the head off, you've got... 15 millimeter bolts 
10 of them. Five there, five there. I would recommend using a breaker bar that's a half inch with an extension, the 15 millimeter to at least break the torque. Um, then after that, you can use a drill with an attachment, a swivel, and a 15. Um, I've got an adapter from a 3 eighths to a half inch on there. But um, there's a ground, that's a, it's a 10 and a 10. Hopefully the camera didn't flip, but it's at two tens. Gotta hold this one and turn that one till it breaks. Take off the ground, don't snap the ground. Uh, and the power steering pump, you can leave it on, you can take it off, it's up to you. If you leave it on, you gotta disconnect the lines, which I'm gonna have to do. Uh, there's two bolts under here for the headers uh, that connect to the exhaust. You gotta take those off as well. Oh, but if you can see them right there, the O2 sensor's in there as well. Gotta make sure you unplug the sensor. I'll take the sensor out, we'll just unplug it. Uh, which is right there. Two plugs for the whole two sensors on the right hand, on the left hand side are there, and right in the middle of the screen. So uh yeah, that's pretty much it. Those five, those ten, optional if you want to take off the rocker arms and the power push rods, power steering pump, of course the serpentine though. Uh, gotta take off the wire arms that goes down to the AC compressor. Let's do that. Let me see if I can pop it up and get some of this cool in the control. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There it is. You heard that? That was the compression from when I rotated the engine. So now it's just it's sitting off the. Alright, so I'm here taking off my second head. I've got the uh, rock arms off. I've got Push rides out. I've got um, almost all the head, head bolts out. So. manifold bolt um, that connects to the exhaust but you see I have cat smids on mine sound fucking amazing into a Mopar cat bat but yeah there's two of these uh, if your shit's stock it should be uh, 17 should be one there and one on the other side and you know two over there you've also got to disconnect the uh, O2 sensor harness wires connections if you want to call them that um, there's one there and then there's one back there for the downstream, there's upstream and downstream. The upstream actually connects it to the headers. The downstream connects it to the pipes after the cats. All right, I don't remember where I left off last time, but uh, here's the tensioner, there's the pulley, uh, here's the pistons, there are the lifters. They look like that with the cover off. That's the yoke. That's without the yoke. Uh, those are all the bolts to the timing cover. Uh, there's the thermostat, which goes inside the thermostat housing, which goes inside the water pump, which is not there, as you can see. Uh, alternator is over there. Let's see. Uh, now I've got the AC compressor off, as you can see, because there's two bolts that go into the timer cover there. Uh, here's the, uh, the cam sensor, which is that. This is how you take off a 5.7. A 2004 to 2008 5.7. This is a three inch pulley or puller from Harbor Freight. What I have in there right now is a regular size head bolt. I have a regular head bolt in there. These notches on the back, if the light allows, there we go. These notches back here is where the, are where the teeth go. You have the teeth on there. You place the bolt inside the crank. As you can see, it's right there. You place the nose of the puller on the bolt. Tighten it just enough and use a, I believe this is a 15 millimeter, either 14 or 15 millimeter uh, wrench or socket. You get that on there, you turn it until it gets really, really tight and it starts to come off and it pops off. It is a 14 millimeter. Uh, so, what I'm doing is I'm uh, putting it on there and I'm actually holding the crank with my hand and I'm pushing to loosen it. Let's see if I can get you a good picture.
fried chicken, two sides of mashed potatoes and gravy, coleslaw, and four flaky biscuits for just $20. Yeah, do this. It'll feed four people. I can pull this off. And it uh, comes with a free bucket. At least just And every time you use that bucket, to get you'll be reminded out. of how delicious See, that meal was. Oh, it pick up that's back. To KFC, it's thick and looking good. I participate in KFCs oh, for a limited right time. There. Prices may vary. Catch extra. Extra exactly. charge for breast pieces. All right. Now, this is how you know your timing is good. Number one, top dead center. Two colored links. Single timing mark. Timing mark, double arrow, up into the two links. Keyway. Let it focus. Keyway, if you can see that, right there. That's two o'clock position. One of these links are colored. There's one single link on the bottom, right? There. It's at the dead bottom. Bottom dead center. That is how you know your timing is gold. Alright, well now I've got the cam spark it off. Time to change still on because I haven't taken the pump all the way on just yet. But that is the woodruff pin that sits into the timing kit. Time is sparking. And make sure to show cameras the hiring. You don't have time to waste. The you need to get to a short list of qualified candidates fast. That's why but you need Indeed.com. Daryl is hired with Indeed. Using well the site saves me a lot of time. It. it makes my job so, so much easier. Post a job in minutes. So, Set up screener questions. Then zero in on qualified candidates. This, this is the camera. I'm gonna use that. Scroll back in so I can have a little leverage. About to go in and take this cam out. I got the, that's trans. The front with the black one on the front of it is the power steering pump. This is the radiator. There it is, people. Cam is out. There it is, people. There is a stock 5.7 cam. It's not going to focus very well because the lobes are in different spaces, so the autofocus is kind of going to go back and forth. But that is what it looks like on the inside of a 5.7. Hopefully, you can see most of it. I mean, I know it's a little dark, but. And this is why the magnets are needed. Listen. That's the lifter up. That's the lifter on the cam. Alright, so this is the setup to hold the lifters up. I pretty much got each one wrapped around. And then wrapped around another one. And then after that, I wrapped it around the whole head. On both sides. So I'm hoping this holds. I'm really scared because I do not want it to fall into the block. That would suck. So let's try to take this cam out really, really carefully. The cam came out. See? Look at that. The method I chose to use is working so far. Alright, well if y'all look inside this here cam hole, you can see the bearings. And they are still somewhat in good shape. They're not bad at all, actually. Um, the silver that you see off to the left, all the way down to the back where the dial, uh, where the freeze plug is back there, that is in fact every single lifter. 
on both sides of the engine all the way down. 